A little disclaimer before I start the video, any build you go is fine. I'm just making this video for people who want to get back into Hakuto or who are returning to Hakuto. Make sure you guys do subscribe. Only a small percentage of you that watch my videos are subscribed. And this video did take me a little while to make. So it would go a long way. Make sure to like the video so the people who need this guide may can see it and they're recommended. And comment down below what your Hakuto build is. But without further ado, let's get into the Hakuto guide. So when you're starting out Hakuto, there are six moves you want to go. The first move is negation. The reason why you want to go negation is because the first move of negation is counter, which you can use to counter anything. And the second one is a uh, air combo. It's basically a flurry of punches that will help you within comboing. The second move you want is Tora Reach. Now you want to go Tora Reach because it gives you the range to peel. You can put people into air combos if you hit it properly and if you land it at its extended range like at the very last bit of its animation it block breaks now beforehand when i did it halfway it never block broke but i don't know if they changed it now but yeah you just have to test it out for yourself at the end of the tour of reach it will block break if they're blocking and it can be parried same with negation it can also be parried as well third move you want is catching dragon and flying dragon now it sounds like two moves but one of them is a passive for catching dragon you want to get flying dragon because you won't be able to deal damage without flying dragon and you just using catching dragon won't let you use the full combo you also want to get pulse pulse is good for ranged it actually helps you get riatsu back i believe and if you are visored it's auto tracking rising shot you can also get as well it's really hard to hit since other people can anticipate it after the first one they'll just block the second one and you won't really be able to start up a combo spine rend you want to get if you don't mind not having shunko or if you're going advanced shunko because it will just complete your build it can be blocked and it can be parried but it's really good for when someone is already block broken it does a lot of damage and it's just good overall. Now, Shunko and Advanced Shunko. You wanna go Shunko if you know that you won't be able to land your Spine Rend or if you just want to go Advanced Shunko. It gives you a 15% damage boost and it gives you a huge speed boost as well. I don't know what the stats are for Advanced Shunko. I just know that I believe it gets an, more abilities, like two other abilities, or it might be its M2. I don't know for sure, but it really is good when fighting anybody. All the other moves, um, they're just for you to test out. I'm not going to say they're good or bad. You're going to have to test out your playstyle with Hakuto because it's not like you can just, you know, go any move and it'll work. You need these base moves, you especially need Tora Reach and Rising Shot to utilize all of your abilities properly because some have land combos and some have air combos. So make sure you know how to combo and which one is the best for you. But yeah, if you did enjoy this guide, make sure to, like I said in the beginning, subscribe, like the video so other people who may need this guide can see it, and comment down below what your Hakudo build is. And most importantly, make sure to have a nice day, guys, and see you guys within the next video.